One of my previous asked me, John, what is this? I would like you to help me draw uh, an air turbine. Essentially, this is going to be a HVAC plus. Okay. And uh, yeah, I would like uh, you to help me draw the, the diffuser, reducer, sizing, whatever. Okay. All in AutoCAD. Okay. All in this beautiful thing, AutoCAD. John, I know how to do it in Unity. So I just want to use a bit of software, okay? Uh, why do I use a bit of software? Just to show a 3D model, so you'll understand what I'm doing in an AutoCAD. Okay? So this class, I'll just see this class. This class part one would be drawing a diffuser. That's the air terminal, okay? Air terminal, supply and radar, both of them, okay? Where in How do we start now? This one. So we are, uh, yeah, we need to draw a scenic plan. So let me uh, bring my scenic plan. Let me draw a scenic plan. Okay, I think I draw, I show you directly in uh, AutoCAD. But I'll show you what I'm, what the plan is showing. Air terminal, how to use this air terminal. Okay. Then I require a 3D model. Okay, but he has not asked me a 3D model. So I just got to place one scenic plan. Supply air diffuser. Okay. Draw that scenic plan. I need to draw one more air air terminal. Okay. Is it uh, this? Okay. I'm just drawing this just to show you how to draw it in AutoCAD. So this is supply. This is supply. How do I know this is supply? Because just have a look. Okay. Just have a look at the arrows. Okay. Just have a look at the arrows. Which arrows? These arrows. The Arrows going outwards means supply. Okay, I just collect selected with supply diffuser. Okay, and this one uh, return why it is coming inside. Okay, so how do we draw this? Okay, in Revit it is easy, isn't it? We saw it. Okay, I show you the 3D view, isn't it? Supply and return, isn't it? So my question is, how do we draw the question? The student's question was, John. Okay, we can draw it in in uh, Revit. It's easy, piece of cake. But how do I draw it in AutoCAD. Okay, so nothing very I show it from a blank screen. John, generally what I do is just this, you know, my students do that, quote unquote. Okay. What they tell me is John, what we do is generally we copy paste from other drawing. But I want to know how to draw it. I said, fine. Okay, first go to your um, templates, make A CAD ISO. Why A CAD ISO? So all your dimensions would be in metric units. Okay, that's one of the reasons you do A CAD ISO. Okay. Then what you'll do, first thing what you'll do is type units. Okay, millimeter. I think so much precision not required. Okay. And say okay. All so so far, so good. Okay. Good practice is to make separate layers. Okay, type click layers. Make two layers, one supply, one return. Okay, name them also, rename them. Supply air terminal. Diffuser. Okay, send published return. Okay, generally supply you uh, draw it or say color it in green color. Okay, and return generally you do it as red color or pink color. Pink just to make it because you can see it on a black background. Okay, so let's keep this as current layer. So we are drawing supply. Okay, so generally. The sub supply air terminals dimensions are 300 by 300. So, what is your rectangle command? Okay, type uh, uh, click any point. Okay, just just give like this clip dimension D I M D I M. Okay, type D I M dimension. Okay, and we said 300 by 300. Okay, see, this is a perfect uh, uh, diffuser 300 by 300, and just click anywhere. Okay, so one part of the story is over. Now what we'll have to do is, we'll have to make this like this. Isn't it? In general, in AutoCAD, how do we show it? Do offset, type O, enter, offset, okay, 50, 
select the object go inside again select the object go inside okay i hope this much is clear actually this is same copy paste for also return okay same thing same procedure you will going to use for return so what i will do is i just create a copy and then change that layer to return okay okay listen this is clear so what i will do is this one come here control one change the layer to return okay this is the first part of the story one more thing is how do we difference between supply and a color okay we're going to draw a line this to this this to this okay in supply you have two lines like this okay two diagonal lines but whereas return you only have one this is the first thing you need to understand that's the difference okay you can also say match layer match the layer I hope this is clear. Okay, another thing is you'll have to draw the arrows. Okay, this will be supply. This will be the return. Okay, so how you draw the arrows? Very easy command. Polyline. Type P line. P L. Enter. Start. Do shift right click. It is midpoint, isn't it? Where is midpoint? Here. Okay, we don't want to start here. Okay, we can start. Draw straight. Ninety. Okay. Type W width. Fifty. Okay. Okay, and then ending with zero. Length fifty. Put auto. I hope this is clear. Okay. What I've done is, you know, I did one small mistake here. I've just done make this fifty. This looks better, no? Yeah, this looks much better. Okay. So what I'll do is select this and then move it. I hope this is clear now. This is how you draw supplier. Okay. Then what you'll do? Select this. Select this. See, there are different options. I think array would be the best option for this, in my opinion. Okay. So not rectangle. It would be a circular array. That is the polar array, isn't it? Just a second. Okay. Select the object. What I'll do is listen. So even for this we need, this guy also we need, return also we need. So what I'll do is I'll copy this. F8, that is ortho. Isn't it? This looks good. We'll change the match the layer. Click match layer. Select the object. Enter. Select this. Okay. This is return and this is supply. Okay. Then what you'll do is select the object you want to match. Uh, sorry, uh, array. Done. Polar array from where? From the center. You say intersection. Okay, this is not what we want, <laughs> isn't it? We need four. Angle between them should be ninety. Yeah, perfect. I think this looks good. Say thank you, isn't it? If you want, okay, we can just move this a bit forward. This looks better, isn't it? Hmm? Okay. Same story. I think what we can do is we can also looks good okay what we can also do is now we'll do the same story for this guy select the object okay click polar array from where midpoint we don't want four or six we need four type tab 90 looks very good okay done okay so i hope today you learned how to draw what how to draw what the supply uh, air terminal and the return air terminal okay so today's class we learned this supply and return this is supply this is return isn't it okay so you just make uh, have a look difference okay see supply have like this two diagonal lines return have one diagonal line second difference supply you have the air you know air uh, directions outside whereas if you see in the return it is going inwards okay so anyway i hope today's class you enjoyed and we see it in the 3d view so coming cl the next class i teach you how to draw a duct and let's say grills everything okay so slowly 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 we will be moving forward okay this is actually a student request also that uh, john you know what uh, can you please help me with drawing this in autocad so i hope today you learned this procedure to draw an air terminal in autocad okay then we see uh, we will see each other in next class the remaining uh, doubts will be clarified okay anyway take care and i think that's it huh? bye bye